Arcana. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Are you all right? What do you think? I... How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, and the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it.
Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk. Purchase for free hunting suit. Might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell lumbering would be allowed to boot. What does it want? <laughs> Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No. I think... Bear me. Go. Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. I usually do well in this perch. Give up lumbering and take up fish in this river. You must be Connor. We've been raring to finally meet you. My name's Catherine, and this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. Nice to meet you. We've heard so much of you from the boys. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is. On a river, with nobody upstream. I won't lie, Godfrey's letter had me a little worried. But now that we're here and settled, I must say I'm rather happy. 
They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. It's a real treat to be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. I do not doubt it. Afternoon, lad. trouble a little operation like mine.
And I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen. But surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. The Tories sting no matter what we do. But this will make it count. I'll take any reasonable offers on the last of me. That's a bluefish. We've got a load of fresh cod in! Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Ah, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend who stole... Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves call tax men say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion. Now open this door or these men will break it down. Damn ah! bullets, we're coming in. Ah! Oh. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Is that all you have? Uh, could use some support. Oh. for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else.
Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats enforcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Hello, Connor. That tea is being illegally smuggled all around Boston by Johnson's men. If you see any crates in transit, perhaps you could put a stop to the delivery. And those moody tax collectors are still at it. They could use a lessoner too, huh? Go on, Connor. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Let me out!
trifling. Oh. 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 Oh.
taking it. Barriers of... Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Pour me payer ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine! Red coats, wait 
hunting for a beating! I will match your face to your jacket, Capul! Justice, but this is not it. You want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. Blind by decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering cleanly. Please. Things you lost. The 
People listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my Foot Locker. In English, they can keep my teams. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. And all. Aye, but Governor Hutchison refuses to let them leave, wants us to take the tea, pay the duties, and say thank you kindly to the king. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. <laughs> 